All right, we're rolling again. We're rolling, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Device storage got full. Device storage was full, and now it's back, and this is falling over. Okay, good. You know what? Let's just see if I can make this work. All right. Well, don't give up. What don't about putting it right here? Persistence. It'll probably key. stick to that. It probably will. Here, here. You know here, we got it. Try sticking it right there. I think too much of a close-up. I don't want to see it. It's up in your thing there. It's up in your thing. No, it's going to come off. You got to... It's up in your thang. I don't want it on me. It's on you. It's supposed to be on you, right? No, no. You're the you're the star. Yeah, this is all about Garth. Yeah. Here. I'm already in this one. Let me adjust you there. <laughs> just let's just. Uh... Okay, I gotta go. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Oh, I just swore on the first episode. Oh, we're so screwed. Anyway, okay. So you started ten years ago. Uh, yeah, no, you're... no, that's a lie. Oh, okay. When did you start? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. <laughs> How old were you when you actually started doing flooring to, like, even in the installs? Um, well, um, we were working for a guy. Mom looked after kids, and her father, one of the kids' father was uh, an installer. And, like, I don't know, like, 13, 14 years old, we were going out to um, jobs, evenings, weekends, holidays, summer holidays. That was, uh, we basically worked whenever we could. So 13, 14 years old. And I now, think so. And now you're what, like 40, I'll be a 72. 72. You know, um, uh, shoot, I hate telling my age. Oh, just get it out there. Uh, 33. 33. I just turned 33. So you were born in 83? 84. Oh, 84, you just turned. Ah, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let it go. No, let it go. Here, what about it, this? No, it's, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. No, we're not trying to fly here, man. We're just trying to roll. Just trying to roll them. You just have to drive really slow so it doesn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. Yeah. Let's get into some good questions. Enough of this story stuff and trying to figure out how to make these cameras work. Yeah. Um, no, I got to figure it out now, but yeah, it's good to go. Anyways, Love yeah. it. Yeah. So, what's the biggest challenge you have right now with this? Um, biggest challenge right now is. It's something like a challenge. It's something we're really excited about, but um, we're busy. Um, we've got new. We've we've revamped a bunch of things, and basically everything we've revamped is to um, boils down to trying to improve on our customer service. Um, we got one of the best schedulers, install managers around. We just hired a new guy. Highly, highly recommended. Um, highly qualified. And um, yeah, I think uh, I think good help is always a big challenge. Getting good help, people that care, people that I often tell our employees: if you don't take things personal, when a customer's upset about something, whatever the situation is, if you don't take it personal a little bit, then you're not a right fit here. We have to take it personal. Okay, cool. If so we like don't, then we're not going to be able to meet the needs of our customers. When you know, if something doesn't go perfect in our industry. Um, we try to be as close to perfect as we can, but it's always, uh, there's a lot that can happen to upset that. So well, we need to take a person. So what's been the biggest reason for your success? You've been doing it for 10 years. You guys are doing really well. Your team's growing. What's the biggest thing you can attribute to you guys getting to where you are so far? We love our customers. We genuinely love our customers. We love making people happy. Um, and honest, we try to just be honest with people. Um, the best way we can. That seems really simple. Yeah. It, um, we think it is simple. Yeah. But it's kind of, um, yeah, I think just meeting the needs of our customers. If there's, an, if there's something that needs to be dealt with, grabbing the bull by the horns and dealing with it, not running from the problem. Um, Swallow your frogs. That's where we got that. Yeah, from. swallow your frogs. Eat your frogs in the morning. Eat your frogs in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, so what, where's the, what's the history of that? Well, there's a book say? on that, a, a full book on just, um, if you had to eat a frog every day, when would you do it? Why would I need to do that? If you had to eat a frog, okay. what do you, mean you didn't I... have a choice. Okay. Like I was put under some sort of Yeah, well, you know what it's called? You know, like a frog, like, like apparently the taste of a frog is just out of this world, right? How disgusting! Like that's like if it was I think alive. they're part of their defense, right? Right, right. So right, if you right. had to eat a frog every day, when would you do it? 
Well, I think if I did it late at night, I'd be worrying about it the whole time. Exactly. So I'd probably do it right when I get up. Yeah, just first thing it, in the morning. Just get it done. Yeah, get her done. Get her done. Get those things off your plate, and the rest of your day will go tickety boo. And and we push that in in the offices. Start with your most complicated project, your most complicated task of the day. Wow, it makes the rest of your day go by so nice. Just because you're not worried about it. You're not worried about it. It's dealt with. It's so easy to put those complicated tasks, tasks that we don't want to have to deal with, so easy to put them off, put them off, put them off, and then they just grow and they get grow. And yeah, just eat your frog first thing in the morning. Get It's an hour of going through eating, eating your frog. If it takes an hour, whatever. Just eat your frog first thing in the morning. First thing you do is eat your frog. Eat yeah. your frog first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, <laughs> eat your frog. <laughs> okay, so it kind of reminds me of this saying, um, and I'm probably gonna, you know, bastardize it, but this is kind of the idea is um, successful people make a habit out of doing things ordinary people don't want to do. Yeah. And I find a lot of times people procrastinate when they have, you know, big issues or bad news yep. or a big project they can't see clearly to the end. And they procrastinate getting it done. So they kind of push it off and it never becomes Eat priority. your frogs in the morning. Eat your frogs in the morning. Yep. I love it. You know, it's something we've... Um, prescribe to is this idea that it's not how you feel that determines what you do it's what you do that determines how you feel oh yeah yeah I like that and so I feel like if you were to not eat your frogs you're gonna feel anxious and oh, stressed yeah. out whereas if you eat your frogs you yeah. feel good because you got it done and you yeah. can move on with your day absolutely can I sh can I do some shifting yeah she wants to shift yeah. up what gear are you in now I I'm in third right third now. okay can yeah. we go to fourth okay I'm ready to, okay, go, ready? Go to fourth nice Cool. Solid oh shoot reverse yeah no that doesn't work okay good yeah I mean, you um, could have put it in second can I pull the e-brake well, it's electronic, so it, right. won't, it won't let me do it. Oh, I guess I can't pull it. Can you I can push try the e-brake? You can see what happens. Okay. I, I don't think it'll be, it'll be great. Oh, oh, there it goes. It's doing something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're supposed to hold it. I'm not... Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. it is. Nice. Yeah, it's on. Nice e-brake. <laughs> this I is the least Subaru. Car. I didn't do that. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a least? <laughs> it's oh, least. Shoot. Yeah. Don't tell them. <laughs> don't show them the video. Oh, that's good stuff. Anyways, All right, so yeah. swallow your frogs. That's the message that you're trying to give everybody. No, not swallow them. Eat them. Eat them, Chew right through the bullfrog. Up <laughs> first thing in the morning. That's awesome. first thing. Are you yeah. shifting or what? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Second, got it. please. Yeah, Thank you. that's great. You're welcome. That's, that's teamwork. Yeah, that's teamwork. Let's All not. Right. We don't have to talk about it. Just, just know when to shift. It's getting even better. Oh yeah. I feel like we're one mind right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We are. Um, yeah. That's right. Sweet. So then, um, what do you see in the future? Like, what do you think is going to be the you know, the biggest thing that's going to help you guys grow. I need second gear when you get second Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Shift. There we go. That's great. Yeah. Um, I think uh, for us is to understand how people buy and um, understand the millennials, how they buy. Oh, shoot. I keep forgetting. Understand the millennials, how they buy. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just to, just to meet the needs of the, the customers and, and um you know, I read it. I watched a video. I sent you that video. I don't know if you had a chance to watch it yet. Yeah, I got my email. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't and seen it yet. it's great. It just goes through the the different things that you know what millennials are looking for, and 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 someone was saying about millennials are um, they want to make a difference in the world. They want to yeah they want to make a difference here. In a second, right? There yeah, that's first. Uh, that's, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I can't I can't pull the wool over his eyes. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, they want to make a difference. So, you know, one of the things was on your website, which I feel that we're doing, um, um, being part of the, being involved in the community and for good causes and, you know, whether it's, um, uh, what am I trying to say, Rob? Like, like, uh, giving back to the community, donating to, um, charities, um, you know, uh, so are you, what, are you involved? Are you in any yeah. words? Yep. Yeah. Yep, I'm on the community of hearts. And what are they all about? They're all about. Um, oh shoot, I should know this, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. No, they're. Um, <laughs> it's a kind of continuing education for um, people with Downs. Continuing okay. education after school. So what do they do? It, it's learning um, life skills. They do all kinds of neat things there for uh, um, people with Downs and. Um, yeah, in terms of cooking, uh, activities, learning, continuing on learning, basically. That's great. So, give so yeah, it's great to, grow great to be part of that. So my point was, uh, what I was getting at is, um, on the website, 
you know, they said it was talking about website, how to reach you, you know, these people and things that they want to see on there. They want to see what you're part of, what that business is doing, giving back to the community. Um, that's very important to them. They want to know about this is kind of off topic, but they I just I thought it was kind of neat. They want to know about the people that are running the business or the people that are behind that screen because they want to they want to read about those people and know that they're they're genuine and they you know yeah. they're not shysters. Yeah. Yeah, they're involved and they're they're making a difference. Yeah. So they can be part of it. Yeah. That's great. Exactly, yeah. All right, sweet man. Well I I mean we're uh, probably like fifteen minutes, fourteen minutes, something like that. Yep. Yeah. So uh, that's our first I Am In A Car episode. Um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed some insights from Garth. I mean, my big takeaway is, you know, make sure you, you eat your frogs. Don't just swallow them. You got to chew through them. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, But the point of that, Rob, oh. the point of that is not just eating your frogs. It's eating the, your frogs first thing in the morning. Eat your frogs first thing in the morning. Okay, everybody, remember, eat your frogs first, first thing, thing in, in the, the morning. morning, even if it's a bullfrog. Even if it's a little wee frog. Even if it's a wee eat frog. It. Get so, it out of there. So, okay, one last piece then. Yeah. What frog do you have to eat today that you haven't eaten? Well, I th I feel like I've eaten most of my frogs this morning, first thing. Okay, yeah. And in the office at 7, from 7 till 8, you just gobble your frogs up. And then... And most times if you keep up on them or you make that happen, you'll notice that they, they never seem to become a problem. Because so, you're always, you know, and it could just be doing something that it's not always just putting out fires or problem solving it's just about doing those things that you're not that maybe you're just a little bit more uncomfortable with doing like for me it could be a quote that's a big quote I'm going to need two hours to do it or whatever it is and you put it on the side of the table and you go through all your easy ones and you leave that man get that out of the way because you'll be scrambling to get it done before like at some point. And yeah, well, it's interesting. A couple of things kind of come to mind. One is is the idea that um, just to extend, eat your frogs. Because if you don't, it gets bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't eat your frog today, tomorrow it's a bigger frog. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, good it turns point. into a giant frog. 100%. Have you ever seen Pan's Labyrinth? No. But this analogy will fall short then. What is that? It's it's a movie. It's a Spanish movie. But oh, okay. I don't know Spanish. There's a giant toad Ooh. in this movie in a in a tree. And it's like the size of this car. No way. And I think if I think somebody didn't swallow their frogs for like a year. Wow. And then they had to eat that frog. No, but that's a good point though. Like that's what happens is it just keeps it's like a snowball, right? It it's just like keeps a big, getting bigger. Big frog yeah. snowball. Yeah. Like as you're rolling it, it's accumulating more and more and then all of a sudden So it's like a leopard frog and then it's like a toad. Exactly. And then it's and like then, a bullfrog. And then yeah, and then it turns into like a like a, a large rabbit, like a jackrabbit. And then it's like yeah, that's not good. You don't eat rabbits. I love rabbit. <laughs> okay, thank you, Garth. You're Seriously, welcome. Yeah, good. for being a great, Thanks. great sport and doing yeah. the first I am in a car. Yeah, this is great, man. I hope you guys got some value out of this. And yeah, uh, yeah there's going to be more coming. We're going to be filming our next one on Friday and then a couple more next week. So yeah. stay tuned. Rock and, on. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything that you think we should be interviewing or people we should be interviewing or the types of questions you want to hear from business owners, uh, let us know. Thanks. Hey, good point. Peace. Peace out.